So while I'm out hiking, <laughs> I'm gonna make a politicking video getting back to the vaccines. So anyway, I've got this uh, Democrat neighbor. She's a nice person, you know, we we talk, you know, we're somewhat civil. It's hard to talk to a Democrat, but, but uh, so anyway, she's, she warns me, she says, uh, I, uh, I've got COVID, don't get close to me. And I said, I thought you uh, got the vaccine and the booster. She goes, I did. I said, but I said, didn't work too well, did it? <laughs> and she goes, well, they kept me out of the hospital. She says, I'm just, I'm just fatigued. You know, I can't do anything. She says, I can't, you know, I got to, I'm just laying around the house. I said, well, you know, and uh, I said, yeah, well, you know, I said, I had a real bad reaction to that anthrax vaccine. I said, plus I've already, I, I said, I, I got the first variant and I said, I kicked my butt, but uh, you know, because of that, I got national immunity. And she goes, you still need to get vaxxed. I said, why? I got natural immunity. <laughs> and she goes, that doesn't work. You need to get your vaccine. I said, what do you mean it doesn't work? It works better than the vaccine. I said, I haven't had it since then. You know, and I said, I've been out in public. You know, and then, by the way, this Democrat, she wears a mask everywhere she goes. She's uh, been triple, triple vaxxed, you know, and I, and it, and it ironically, I mean, she d d doesn't get it. And she goes, will you stay away from me? I said, what do you mean you want me to stay away from you? She goes, you're unvaxxed. I said, well, I said, well, if you believe in the vaccine, what threat am I to you? I said, in fact, uh, I said, you're more of a threat to me right now because you got COVID, right? I said, actually, I've been trying to get it. <laughs> I said, if I can get it, I don't know if I can, you know, because I want that Omnicron because that's going to be a lot, uh, a lot easier on you than the Delta for sure, you know, because I'm not sure it was, I, I, you know, nobody's been able to say how long natural immunity will last. So who knows? Uh, but that's my, my Democrat story. Triple vaxxed is afraid of me because I'm un she says I'm unvaxxed, I'm unclean, and she's got COVID. <laughs> it wears a mask everywhere she goes. Everywhere she goes, she wears a mask. You know, even here in Florida, we have people like that. I, I haven't worn a mask since this thing started. Not one time. Well, actually, that's not true. In some stores where they were requiring it, I I obey their, their rules if I needed to go in there and buy something, but most of the time I just avoided those stores anyway. All right, that's my, uh, that's my vaccine story. I just thought it was funny as hell that here's, here's a person triple vaxxed, wears a mask, uh, obeys all, you know, tries to stay out of crowds because she's scared of the virus. She's got the virus and I'm a threat to her. <laughs> I, does the world make sense to you? It sure doesn't to me. I forgot to finish the politic and video. So, <laughs> so she goes, I, she says, you're smarter than this. You're smarter than this. And then she ran away. And that's what Democrats do. They will sit there and debate with you, man. They just, uh, they just get pissed off and run away, you know. But uh, that, that just cracked me up. But she's, she's got COVID. I don't. And I'm a threat to her. <laughs> I, still, I still can't get over that. I don't, you know, somebody explain this to me. I don't know. Is it, is it just me or is it? I, is that somehow, uh, am I missing something here? Leave a comment below if I'm missing something. So I'm gonna talk to tack this on to that politic and video. This is just some education for you. Just because I'm listening to the radio and I heard uh, an advertisement for Jackson Hewitt. For God's sakes, don't ever use Jackson Hewitt to do your taxes. Oh my goodness gracious, because they are, there are they are actual franchises, so you have no corporate office to complain to, and even if you do complain to the corporate office, they just ignore the hell out of you and tell you you got to go back to the person that prepared your taxes. You know, it's not like uh, H and R Black where you have a central office and you can you know have have representation. And that's another thing. Ta Jackson Hewitt are just tax preparers. They can't uh, they can't represent you against the IRS. And even H and R Block, you have to have a master tax preparer to represent you against the IRS. So just a, just a warning to you, because uh, just from my experience, I, when I was trying to start my cybersecurity business, I let uh, Jackson Hewitt do my taxes one time. And as a result of letting them do my taxes, I got audited four times. It took, it took me uh, $800 with H&R Block to get, to get that, whole th that whole scenario fixed, because they messed up my tax return so bad, Jackson Hewitt did, that... Uh, that you know, it took H and I had to you know, pay H and R Block eight hundred dollars to to fix everything because they the IRS just kept coming after me and coming after me because of that Jackson Hewitt tax return. So you do what you want, but I'm just giving you a warning. 
I would never use Jackson Hewitt in a million years. In fact, that should be illegal that they, uh, you know, pre pre present themselves as a, as a corporate entity and, and, and actually every little office is their own little business and uh, they won't help you at all. Just an FYI. I had to finish that Jackson Hewitt story because I did take that guy to court. I took him to small claims court. Now his office was in Dearborn Heights, okay? And that's where the tax return was prepared, okay? However, that office is only open, you know, during tax season. His actual uh, headquarters was in L Livonia, Michigan. So I went to, um, I went to uh, Dearborn Heights and I said, Can it, should I sue him here? Because, you know, this is where the tax return was prepared. And they said, no, you're going to need to sue him in the town where his, uh, his headquarters is located. Okay. So I put in the paperwork uh, to sue him and my, uh, my tax person and everybody showed up at court. And uh, I didn't realize this. Um, you don't get to appear in small claims court before a judge sometimes. And I think this, this woman was just like, a, I guess that her title was like a magistrate or something like that. And, uh, and she says, well, you're suing in the wrong venue. I said, well, I talked to Dearborn Heights and they told me to sue him here. She goes, no, you, you need to sue him in Dearborn Heights. And uh, so you can, you can, unbeknownst to me, uh, you can appeal that. All right. And what I should have done was appeal it. And then it would go before a judge. And, but I didn't know that, you know. And so I came back. And, uh, of course, they wanted me to pay the whole fee again. Because, you know, when you, when you get into small claims court, you have to pay you know, like 80 some bucks, you know. And so this, this next time I went, they said, well, you're outside of the, the window for an appeal. You're gonna have to pay the whole fee again. <laughs> I probably would have just gone right back to the magistrate. Of course, I went to Dearborn Heights and I fussed at them too. And they're like, well, no, they're wrong. That's completely wrong. The Livonia should have allowed that case to go through. I finally just said to hell with it, you know. It wasn't worth the, but at least I got to drag that guy into court for a day. And so that, that, that made me feel better. Anyway, that's the whole doggone story. It was a, it was a nightmare.